Hey guys, it's Richard from Little Rain Lamb, and before I get into this, sorry about the lighting, light burnt out, sorry about the noise, rain, just just crazy outdoors. Um, but anyway, um, basically getting into my May TBR, this video is going to be comprised of two parts. May TBR is the first part, and the second part will be a bow back to me update, just in case you want to hear what I'm currently reading, because it is Tuesday, and normally I do post those videos on this day. Um, so I have a few books to read in May, and I actually ordered a few books, I'm going to be having a book haul soonish um it's not a very big one but i there's a book i really wanted to read and i'll be adding that to my tbr probably but for the most part this is these are kind of the books i want to get to this month so the first book um is also i'm currently reading a book but in the back to me i'll get to that so um the first book i'll be reading is drums of autumn by diana gabaldon the fourth book in the outlander series this is quite a chunky book but i'm gonna be buddy reading this with alex um i'm not sure when we're starting quite yet the start date but we're reading this one this month, and I'm very excited to get to it. Just It's a very big commitment, but I'm happy I'm buddy reading it because it makes it less scary. The next book I want to get to is A Night In with Grace Kelly by Lucy Holiday. This is the third and final book in the A Night In with series. And I read the last two last summer, and this one came out in November, but it kept kind of getting pushed off until about now. I just really want to get into it because I want to know how the series ends. I want to complete the trilogy, and I just generally love this series. The next book is actually Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham, and this is her memoir, and this one is probably one that I most likely will get to in the month because it is smaller. Um, I really want to read this after I watch Parenthood because I am a fan of Gilmore Girls, but in case there's any Parenthood talk in this, which I think there is, I want to know like who the actors were and like kind of what happened in the show just in case of spoilers, and I don't think there would be spoilers, but you know, just so I know what's up. And I finished watching um, Parenthood last month, so I really want to get to this one this month. Then I have Maid Sama, and I really just want to read more in this graphic novel. Um, I didn't actually get to it last month, so I want to get to it this month because I really do love the story. Um, I just sometimes find it hard to fit those into my schedule. And I want to continue reading The Monopolist by Mary Pylon. I only have about 100 pages left in this book. And in case you don't know, this is basically a book about the board game Monopoly and how it came to fruition and all the trials and tribulations that certain companies and certain people that acquired the game went through. So it's a very interesting book. I kind of just lost steam because at the time I wasn't really feeling like a nonfiction and I picked one up. So there was that. And now we're moving on to the Bow Back to Me portion. So what I'm currently reading is Good in Bed by Jennifer Weiner. And I'm currently on page 125, chapter 8. And I'm slowly but steadily getting through this. Um, it's just I've been really focused on playing all, all my apps and stuff and doing stuff that I wasn't able to do in the school year because I was able to read, but I wasn't able to just play on apps for hours and listen to podcasts. Like... On the weekend, like my Saturdays, like nights, when I had my dedicated like rest time, I was able to do that, but it's just nice being able to do in the middle of the day when I normally would have been studying. So I haven't been reading as much, but I'm getting back into the spirit. Um, Monday, which is when I'm filming, I've got my schedule all good, like I'm pumped, and I'm ready to take on the week, and the rest of the year really. I just feel refreshed and re-energized. So that's basically what I'm reading right now, and also... I didn't know, I might do this, but this is a suggestion for you guys that watch this regular segment, or like anybody else, honestly. Um, but basically, if you guys wanted, like, cause sometimes I know, like, bad activities can get tedious, especially when I'm reading a book in multiple weeks, like Drums of Autumn will more than likely take me more than a week to read. So you'll see it probably in two or more bad back to me's. So I was wondering if every other week you wanted to bad bad back to me, what is Rachel watching? Um, instead, so I can tell you, like, either like a movie I watched or a TV show and just talk about one so I have less TV shows my favorites thus taking the time that I spend on my favorites videos down a minute or two in the end something like that so it's definitely something to think about so if it would be like bow back to me watch um read watch like you just go in order like that if you like that suggestion definitely let me know if you just want me to keep it how it is you know that's fine with me too I just want to know what you guys are thinking and I want to thank you so much, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye